morning and good afternoon, good evening, um, whatever time in the world it is where you are today. Um, we're on day 13 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Um, I hope you're well. I hope things are um, staying as calm as they possibly can. And that this course or this um, uh, formula or mindfulness or whatever we want to say is, is working. I tell you, what's really interesting is um, I... I listened to the radio yesterday, and um, whilst listening to the radio, it was Radio 5, which is like the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, um, their, their main channel. There's a lot of talking on there, and I've never heard um, on there before, and I listened to it quite a bit. I've never heard so many people talk about well-being and cognitive thought processes and ultimately mindfulness. And the amount of people now who are um, turning to mindfulness to help them get through uh, the situation where we are at the moment. And the reason for that is we are moving from a phase of human, human doers um, to human beings. And that art of just sitting and being um, is difficult for people because, you see, we're always running around, we always preoccupy our mind with a thousand thoughts and six thousand emotions, etc., etc., and actually we don't very rarely we do we take anything on board. It's everything's a process. Everything's to get from A to B, um, to end up to go to bed, to get up and start all over again. And with this la with this isolation that's taking place at the moment, a lot of people are struggling with it in terms of um, sitting down and and not doing anything, actually being. And what happens then? What we're going to talk about today is. Um, is working memory. And and what do I mean by that? Because when we sit down, we're doing one of two things. We're either worrying about the future, and I said yesterday about fear, you know, the fear of finances, the fear of losing someone, the fear of the virus, the fear, the fear, the fear. In touch with none of those things have affected you. Um, and by the way, I've still bunged up, but I know I'm fine. So it, we're just ploughing on our family and we're, we're trying to help each other and do as much as we can. Don't get me wrong, on times we're getting on each other's nerves. Um, but that's understandable because ultimately we are human. Um, but I try to breathe. And I did, in isolation yesterday, go up to the woodlands. And there's a video now about um, April the 1st and the Well Foundation and, and all the work we're trying to do to create a space when all this is over for people to come and and have well-being and have healing have health have education have learning have all of these things um not to dissect digress too far but um it, it's becoming quite vogue now mindfulness um <clears throat> and when people are sitting down in these moments where you know they're in, they are dissecting the past or they're worried about the future they don't know how to cope with these emotions and feelings. And what we're going to talk about now, because yesterday we talked about fear. And that fear is generally of the future. We're worried about what's going to happen next. What I want us to do as well is think about stuff that's happened in the past. Because we'll dissect that again in a minute. And it's all about working memory. We have a lot of memory thoughts. And what we try to do with those memory thoughts, we actually try to substitute them with other thoughts, positive thoughts. It's like, um, it's like a, a memory transplant. And I'll give you an example. Mindfulness, I'm too old for all this. I'm too old for it. I did it before, never worked. So we chuck it away. I can't do this. You know, I'm, I'm, this is not for me. This really, this really isn't for me. And we try, we, we put ourselves down based on our experiences or understanding or lack of understanding of things in the past. And our memory, kick, mind, memory mind kicks in. Ah, oh, we can't do this. This is rubbish. What's he on about? And then we may sit down on five minutes and say, I'm going to go back and look at that again. And then what we try to do is the complete opposite. We try and pump ourselves up. I'm not too old. I'm not too old. Why did I think I was too old? I'm not, I can do this. I can knock it out the park. Yes, I'm going to be the Dalai Lama in six weeks. I'm going to be the one that is going to be the mindful number one. I am going to be that. I'm going to be Yoda sat in a green swamp on the wing of an X-wing, if you watch Star Wars. Or I'm going to be... You know, I don't know, the most wizardry wizard person on Harry Potter, whatever the scenario is, okay? The reality of the situation is that 
What about just sitting? And what about just letting it all unfold? Without any judgment. Without any I can't or I can or me or I or it or... or no, just what about just letting it unfold? Somebody put up on the, the group yesterday and said, just, I suck at meditation. Yeah. And, and you and, and six billion other people and me. But what is your expectation of meditation? <laughs> and how are you saying that you suck at it if you can't do it? How do you know if you are doing it or not doing it right? Because it's just about being. What happens if we could just see our old memory thoughts just as thoughts because you've got to remember if we're if we're sitting here right now and we're letting our thoughts unfold like i'm too old for this can i really do this meditation's not for me i suck it they 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 are no more interesting or no more important than your breakfast you had three days ago it's gone done what happens if we could see all thinking just as thinking? What happens if we could have that level of awareness where we don't judge those thoughts either way, good ones or bad ones? I'm going to knock this meditation out of the park. I can't do this. What happens if we just sit and be? And just focus. Yesterday we did a hand meditation. Today I want you to close your eyes. Now, let's close our eyes. All right. And I just want you to sit and be. And I want you to breathe in. Deep breath and breathe out. I want you to deep breath in. And deep breath out. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Now open your eyes. Now somewhere on your body or somewhere, you would have felt your breath. Your nose, my jumper, whatever. And what I want you to do now is, whenever you felt that breath, I want you to close your eyes and I want you just to... Just breathe normally now, but I want that sense, wherever you felt your breath, that's your anchor point. I just want you to sit with that and just feel your breathing coming in and out. Breathing in, breathing out. And if a thought comes in, it's no problem, acknowledge it, breathe it in, accept it, and just breathe it out. And come back to your focal point, wherever that is in your breath. What I'd like you to do now is I'd like you just to count on your breath. So when we breathe in, we count one. When we breathe out, we count one. When we breathe in, we count two. When we breathe out, we count two. When we breathe in, we count three. When we breathe out, we count four. When we breathe in, we count five. When we breathe out, we count five. And then we start over again. So run it through your mind. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Back to one. Okay? Let's go. Breathe in one. Do it yourself. Okay, open your eyes. So there, then, it's just two very simple, again, mindfulness meditations. And what you're doing is, is you're actually being, and you're stopping that, you know, you're, you're dampening the flow of thoughts. If you have a thought, it's not a problem. You know, meditation isn't about sitting in Zen and actually not doing anything. It's, you can have thoughts, just not having judgmental thoughts. Just think about being, you know, let it unfold and don't judge ourselves. Watching this video now, is an amazing thing of self-compassion. Give yourself a pat on the back for getting to day 13, for giving yourself the opportunity to live a much more balanced, happy, healthy life, mindful life from moment to moment. Being here now and listening to me is going straight into your heart. 
straight into your heart. Listening mindfully is an act of kindness and an act of love. It's beautiful. The most fundamental thing we do need to do in our lives is learn how to be. Just be. Being you. Being heard. Being seen. Being loved. And being. Just being. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Just let everything wash over you. Fear, emotion, thoughts. And I'm not trying to get you to turn into a dumbed down zombie that just floats around everywhere. No, I want you to be you. I want you to be the human, I want you to be spiritual, I want you to be all of these things, but I want you to have the ability, the tools, the mindset, the super highways, the neuroplasticity, the oxytocin, all of these things that we've talked about over the last 13 days, to bring it into yourself so you can live a much more balanced, centered, thoughtful, kind, compassionate, loving, Caring life. Just being. Thank you. We'll have one more loving kindness. It's important that you think of yourself, think of others, help others, send your energy out, be in the moment. God bless you. Here's the loving kindness. So I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to put a nice image up. And I'm going to sound a bell for us to start. And all I want you to do now is focus on your breath. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in and breathe it out. And just focus on where your breath is. Where do you feel it most? Is it through your nostrils? Is it on your t-shirt? Is it on your jumper? Where do you feel? Do you feel your, your belly moving in and out? Breathing in and breathing out. And to start this, we're going to offer loving kindness to ourselves. And I want you to focus on the intention of these words. And I want you to continually repeat these words. And if you have a thought that comes in, you welcome it, you love it, you let it go, and you come back to the mantra. So as we're breathing in, I want you to say these words. Breathing in, may I be safe. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I be happy. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I be healthy. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I live with ease. Breathing out. Repeat the mantra. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Continue that mantra as you're breathing in and you're breathing out. And if you have any thoughts that come in, you welcome them, you love them, you let them go, and you come back to your mantra. May I be safe. May I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May I be safe, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease. Welcome this beautiful love into your life. To be kind to yourself to connect in with yourself, to love yourself, to heal yourself. May I be safe, 
May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Now what I'd like you to do is just, with your eyes closed, choose someone in your life that you love. Or someone that inspires you. Someone you think about, who you're grateful for. And I want you to picture that person in your mind. And on this occasion, as you're breathing in, you say simply, May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. This is loving kindness for somebody else who is someone you love, someone inspires you. Put them in your mind, see them and set the intention of may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. And don't forget, if you have a thought, just let it welcome in. Hold it. Don't put any judgment on it, accept it, acknowledge it, let it go and come back to your mantra for this person that you love. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. Now the focus, we're going to focus on someone you know who's having a difficult time at the moment, maybe someone who's ill, and we're going to offer them kindness. So if there's somebody you know who is in self-isolation or isn't feeling very well at the moment, I want you to place there in your intention in your mind, with them in your mind, and you say again, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. This is somebody who you know who's having a difficult time at the moment, who may be ill, Set the intention of that person, put them in your mind's eye. And as you do, you say to yourself, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And if you find your attention or your mind wanders, don't worry. Just love it, let it go. And return back to your phrases, your mantra. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. These mantras are now your anchor. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And what I'd like you to do is choose someone in your life that you might have difficulty with or have some tension with or have had an issue with or something hasn't sat right between the both of you for a little bit of time. This one can be difficult, but we set the attention and we put them in our mind's eye and we say to them in our mantra, breathing in and breathing out, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And again, if something, a thought comes in, I want you to allow it in, accept it, acknowledge it, put no judgment, love it and let it go. And come back to your anchor, your mantra. For the person who you may have had difficulty with, have had an argument with, there's some tension between you. Set the attention, put them in your mind's eye and say, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy and may you live with ease. 
And if at any point you find that difficult, then you can just direct it back to yourself. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Now I'd like you at this moment to direct your loving kindness, your attention and your intention to all forms of life, people, animals, all beings, those people who need it most all over the world at this very difficult time. And I want you to say for them, may all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Breathing in, and breathing out. And again, if you have any thoughts, you let them in, you let them go, and off you go. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be live with ease. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Take a deep breath in and as you do, I just want you to slowly just recenter yourself on the chair and get your sense of awareness and feel your twiggle your fingers or, or move your toes and come back into the room and open your eyes. I feel quite calm today after that. Um, there does seem to be a very calming energy around at the moment as we enter the 1st of April 2020. It's a time for us to recalibrate. It's a time for us to do the things and be the person that we've always wanted to be, but have always been too busy to be. Empathy is rising and kindness is recalibrating. And long may it continue. Minimum amount of deaths maximum amount of impact have you woke up this morning and said good morning julian i love you good morning julian i love you and breathe stay inside stay safe stay mindful be love and give love Share it, subscribe to it, give me your comments. Tomorrow is day 14. We might have made it. <laughs> God bless you, be love and give love, take care. See you tomorrow, bye-bye.